Question number one. If I have to use the most authentic method of assessment, which of these procedures should I consider? A traditional test. B performance-based assessment. C written test. D objective assessment. Answer. B performance-based assessment. Question number two. After doing the exercise on verbs, Ms. Borillo gave a short quiz to find out how well the students have understood the lesson. What type of assessment was done? A. Summative assessment. B. Formative assessment. C. Diagnostic assessment. D. Placement assessment. Answer. B. Formative assessment. Question number three. You are assessing for learning. Which of these will you likely do? A. Giving grades to students. B. Reporting to parents the performance of their child. C. Recommending new policies in grading students. D. Assessing the strengths and weaknesses of students. Answer. D. Assessing the strengths and weaknesses of students. Question number four. Who among the teachers below performed a diagnostic assessment? A. Ms. Santos who asked questions when the discussion was going on to know who among her students understood what she was trying to emphasize. B. Mr. Kalyabong who gave a short quiz after discussing thoroughly the lesson to determine the programs of learning. C. Ms. Ventura who gave a 10-item test to find out the specific lessons which the students failed to understand. D. Mrs. Lopez who administered a readiness test to the incoming grade 1 pupils. Answer. C. Ms. Ventura who gave a 10-item test to find out the specific lessons which the students failed to understand. Question number 5. Ms. Saplan is planning to do an assessment of learning. Which of these should she include in her plan considering her purpose for assessment? A. How to give immediate feedback to students' strengths and weaknesses. B. How to determine the area of interest of learners. C. How to certify students' achievement. D. How to design one's instruction. Answer. C. How to certify students' achievement. Question number 6. You targeted that after instruction, your students should be able to show their ability to solve problems with speed and accuracy. You then designed a tool to measure this ability. What principle of assessment did you consider in this situation? A. Assessment should be based on clear and appropriate learning targets or objectives. B. Assessment should have a positive consequence on students' learning. C. Assessment should be reliable. D. Assessment should be fair. Answer. A. Assessment should be based on clear and appropriate learning targets or objectives. Question number 7. Ms. Ortega tasked her students to show how to play basketball. What learning target is she assessing? A. Knowledge B. Reasoning C. Skills D. Product Answer C. Skills Question number 8 what type of validity does the pre-board examination possess if its results can explain how the students will likely perform in their licensure examination? A. Concurrent B. Predictive C. Construct D. Content
Answer. B. Predictive. Question number 9. Mr. Ravlas made an essay test for the objective identify the planets in the solar system. Was the assessment method used the most appropriate for the given objective? Why? A. Yes, because SA test is easier to construct than objective test. B. Yes, because SA test can measure any type of objective. C. No, he should have conducted oral questioning. D. No, he should have prepared an objective test. Answer. D. No, he should have prepared an objective test. Question number 10. Mr. Sidro wants to test students' knowledge of the different places in the Philippines, their capitals and their products and so he gave his students an essay test. If you were the teacher, will you do the same? A. No, the giving of an objective test is more appropriate than the use of essay. B. No, such method of assessment is inappropriate because essay is difficult. C. Yes, essay test could measure more than what other tests could measure. D. Yes, essay test is the best in measuring any type of knowledge. Answer. A. No, the giving of an objective test is more appropriate than the use of essay. Question number 11. Ms. Alves wants to determine if the students' scores in their final test are reliable. However, she has only one set of tests and her students are already on vacation. What test of reliability can she employ? A. Test retest. B. Cuter Richardson method. C. Equivalent method. D. Test retest with equivalent forms. Answer. B. Cuter Richardson method. Question number 12. Mrs. Catalan allowed the students to develop their own portfolio in their own style as long as they show all the non-negotiable evidences of learning. What principle in portfolio assessment explains this practice? A. Content principle. B. Learning principle. C. Equity principle. D. Product principle. Answer. C. Equity principle. Question number 13. In the context of the theory of multiple intelligence, which is a weakness of the paper-pencil test, A. It puts non-linguistically intelligent at a disadvantage. B. It is not easy to administer. C. It utilizes so much time. D. It lacks reliability. Answer. A. It puts non-linguistically intelligent at a disadvantage. Question number 14. Mr. Ume Am is doing a performance-based assessment for the day's lesson. Which of the following will most likely happen? A. Students are evaluated in one sitting. B. Students do an actual demonstration of their skill. C. Students are evaluated in the most objective manner. D. Students are evaluated based on varied evidences of learning. Answer. B. Students do an actual demonstration of their skill. Question number 15. Who among the teachers described below is doing assessment? A. Mrs. Bautista who is administering a test to her students. B. Mr. Ferrer who is counting the scores obtained by the students in his test. C. Ms. Leva who is computing the final grade of the students after completing all their requirements. D. Professor Cuevas who is planning for a remedial instruction after knowing that students perform poorly in her test.
Answer. C. Ms. Leva who is computing the final grade of the students after completing all their requirements. Question number 16. Ms. Del Rosario rated her students in terms of appropriate and effective use of some laboratory equipment and measurement tools and the student's ability to follow the specified procedures. What mode of assessment should Ms. Del Rosario use? A. Portfolio assessment. B. Journal assessment. C. Traditional assessment. D. Performance-based assessment. Answer. B. Performance-based assessment. Question number 17. Mrs. Ilario presented the lesson on baking through a group activity so that the students will not just learn how to bake but also develop their interpersonal skills. How should this lesson be assessed? 1. She should give the students an essay test explaining how they baked the cake. 2. The students should be graded on the quality of their baked cake using a rubric. 3. The students in a group should rate the members based on their ability to cooperate in their group activity. 4. She should observe how the pupils perform their task. A1, 2, and 3 only. B2, 3 and 4 only. C1, 2, 4 only. D1, 2, 3 and 4. Answer. B2, 3 and 4 only. Question number 18. If a teacher has set objectives in all domains or learning targets and which could be assessed using a single performance task, what criterion in selecting a task should she consider? A. Generalizability. B. Fairness. C. Multiple foci. D. Teachability. Answer. C. Multiple foci. Question number 19. Which term refers to the collection of students' products and accomplishments in a given period for evaluation purposes? A. Diary B. Portfolio C. Anecdotal record D. Observation report Answer B. Portfolio Question number 20. How should the following steps in portfolio assessment be arranged logically? 1. Set targets. 2. Select evidences. 3. Collect evidences. 4. Rate collection. 5. Reflect on evidences. A1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B1, 3, 2, 5, 4. C1, 2, 3, 5, 4. D1, 3, 5, 2, 4. Answer. B1, 3, 2, 5, 4. Question number 21. Ms. Rika Fort uses alternative methods of assessment. Which of the following will she not likely use? A. Multiple choice test. B. Reflective journal writing. C. Oral presentation. D. Developing portfolios. Answer. A. Multiple choice test. Question number 22. Ms. Kamba aims to measure a product of learning. Which of these objectives will she most likely set for her instruction? A. Show positive attitude towards learning common nouns. B. 
B. Identify common nouns in a reading selection. C. Construct a paragraph using common nouns. D. User a common noun in a sentence. Answer. C. Construct a paragraph using common nouns. Question number 23. Mrs. Pua is judging the worth of the project of the students in her science class based on a set of criteria. What process describes what she is doing? A. Testing. B. Measuring. C. Evaluating. D. Assessing. Answer. C. Evaluating. Question number 24. The pupils are to be judged individually on their mastery of the singing of the national anthem so their teacher let them sing individually. What should the teacher use in rating the performance of the pupils considering the fact that the teacher has only one period to spend in evaluating her 20 pupils? A. Analytic B. Holistic C. Either holistic or analytic D. Both holistic and analytic Answer B. Holistic Question number 25. Mr. Fernandez is judging the accuracy of Ahi's statements, which statements will he consider as correct? 1. Test is a tool to measure a trait. 2. Measurement is the process of qualifying a given trait. Illustrated. Assessment is the gathering of quantitative and qualitative data. 4. Evaluation is the analysis of quantitative and qualitative data for decision making. A1 and 2 only. B L and 4 only. C1, 2, 3. D1, 3 and 4. Answer. D1, 3 and 4.